Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play. I wanted to say again the wrong game, Warhammer Chaos Gate. I must that was the wrong the game bait. again! Warhammer Chaos Bane. And I am so pumped to conclude a quest in this game. So we will go on. We need to write the south, um, the south appraiser, which we will do any second. I am certain we are going to face a multitude of enemies right here. And since I have already played the better version, which is on this channel as well, by the way, um, but now with the full release, it actually does not, in the end, make sense to take a look there, does it? No. <laughs> and we will... Um, I am... So excited, so pumped to see what kind of enemies we still or we will face in, so to say, the end game. I have no clue whether they have included. I've seen before the game was released, I've seen a couple of videos, but to be honest, I forgot most of it. So I am not certain what to expect in the near future when we go on here. So I am very, very pumped there and to see what kind of whether there are for example um corn demons like we see in the loading animations where we see that there is a blood ladder so there might be other sorts of chaos gods included so i'm of course have hoping on fighting against singe and slanish as well um diversity we have with the Chaos Gods and if this is included in the game, that makes the game for me even better. Many, um, a multitude of enemies or race makes the game better, I think. So I want to focus, of course, on this one. What I would like to have, I am right now not certain whether you can... Um, you can um, um, you can actually put that on in the options where you can see how the enemy is called. I am very very fami familiar with the 40k universe. I am very very familiar with the fantasy Age of Sigma um, universe, but I of course don't know every unit there is in the game. With 40k, that would be easier, and I know especially the chaos. I need to kill this guy off his feet first, especially with the Chaos Unit, of course, they have name similarities, of course, but many units of Chaos I don't even know, since I've never been a Chaos player after all. Never, I've never been attracted really to, um, if I talk about, well, you can again say it for Fantasy and for the K, I've never been attracted to the Servants of Chaos, like the Chaos Marines or the normal Chaos soldiers, so to say, um, but, um, but uh, rather, I would have been um, attracted to the Demons, which I think they have a very, very nice look and feel to them. Um, that is all I can say here. Picking that up, destroying anything, and I think it would be worth taking a quick look here. No upgrade. So that is something I am right now not certain about. Um, at the first couple of episodes, so to say, we had a multitude of new items, which concluded that we, you know, had had upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. But with every every game, um, or with every every action RPG game it is um, you know the um, graph goes down so to say and you find less and less items which bring your character forth so to say so let's see how that is going to be here in the near future and I remember this part in the better version with the blazers um, I had a hard time finding um, I found one quickly <laughs> and the second one I could not find if I could remember correctly that was one part in the chapter I can't I couldn't find the main quest item of two so to say so let's go over the bridge and return to the cultist shrine is our current goal which we will then do nice give me all the gold racket maybe there will be some Lord Nurgle is pleased to madness is fall and 
he has favored me with his blessing. Asavar Kul is dead, but soon a new Chaos Lord will rise to take his place. All hail the Lord of Pestilence! All right, so we have one goal, and that is taking down a bad guy. Um, kill the cultist. I would like to go home, so to say, and um, bring back all of the items we currently have employed here. So, plenty of hits there to the enemy. Is he actually... Is, I'm not, well, I'm not certain. Is he regenerating? That, of course, is very, very nasty. Don't like that. Don't accept that. Try the lot of damage he's doing. You bloody nasty bugger. So, that is actually something I should use more often. We are more pressing skills. So, he... I think dropped a close combat weapon. Did he? No, a head thing. No, okay. Now we are a little bit in a dicey situation with the inventory. We can't pick up new items. Don't like that. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that the cultists are dead and I've got their precious relics. Um, as well as any. Um, well, he possesses only the only then will now be free from Nurgle's grasp. Um, and Kessler got away. I tried to stop him. Don't think I did. But he wasn't some wretched little cult leader. He was as bad as anything we bought at Kislev, or I'm no dwarf. We have underestimated our foe, High Lord Master. This is no mere cult leader we're dealing with, but possibly a champion of Nurgle, blessed by the unclean one itself. Mm. That explains the presence of the Umbors. Kessler has summoned them to form his warband and solidify his power. Ungors? Warband? What's it all mean? It says that the cult was the least of our worries. They were nothing more than a means to an end. We must find Kessler, and quickly. Meet me back at the tower when you are ready to proceed. All right, um, through we are, let's get all the gold and then we will leave the stinking sewers and we are at the end of this episode. We will again go on here in the next episode after I've looted everything and um, I think we have some good loot here. Ah, that is good. It is endlessly scrolling down. Absolutely enjoy that. 163. Um, so I'll put it there. Well, well, well. Hmm. Okay, I... Uh, plus armor... Okay, I'll leave it for now. Let's leave the sewers. Um, we have not yet received... Ah, there are our quest rewards. 7,000 experience points. That, of course, is much appreciated. Gold crowns, I'll accept as well. And that's good. So, forget what I said. Um, I said it is weird that we don't have a town teleport because of the items we receive and a full inventory but it obviously seems to be a infinite inventory that is quite good so um you got um your god now grants your powerful blessings in exchange for rewards you give as offerings the god skill tree found via the tab on the character menu can be used to upgrade your attributes and active power skills that is what i meant and what i was missing to acquire a favor you need to spend gold fragments and a favor point your maximum favor point total corresponds to your level all right um your feats have caught your god's attention few their gifts from the divine favors tabs in the menu to unlock a favor you need on favor point on enough fragments so that is quite nice maximum health plus damage and i think i will then in the end go into the 
damage way. That is just how I deal it. So, guys, sadly enough, that leads us already to the end of this episode. And you bloody know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys have anything to say, guys, whether it's positive or negative, I always say and I mean it. Um, feedback is always much appreciated. If you have anything to say, leave it in the comment sections if you guys actually have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up if you have not yet um subscribed guys please um subscribe and for now have a nice day stay frosty bye